investing in startups and companies. Uh, Taizo is a pretty amazing person, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. Uh, I just want to have it sit down. Am I okay on the screen here? We're supposed to stay within the green lines, so I usually tend to stand outside the lines. But uh, Taizo and Taira, thank you guys for joining us today. Yeah, it's my pleasure and honor. Thank you. Absolutely. Working over there? Oh, yeah. Okay. So excited. Great. Um, so I think maybe if we could start off by having a little bit of history, uh, maybe Taizo can tell us, uh, I know you've been actively investing in both funds and startups for yep. probably 20 years. I'm not quite sure. But yeah. yeah, I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Still young. Uh, yeah. Let me introduce myself briefly. Uh, I'm Taizo. Um, I was born and raised in Japan, and uh, but currently I'm based in Singapore. And uh, uh, last more than two decades, uh, um, as an entrepreneur, serial entrepreneur, and also the uh, the big supporter, and I, I call myself a startup enthusiast uh, to uh, to support younger people, younger entrepreneurs uh, in Japan and Asia. And then, uh, so thanks to the fortune, um, I could. Uh, so, so my first career is when I was a, a student of at Tokyo University. Uh, I met a Jerry Yan, the founder of the Yahoo, and then uh, I became a project leader, development project leader of uh, Yahoo Japan. And can you believe it? It's still, even today, Yahoo Japan, even search, the, the Yahoo Japan is uh, twice bigger than the Google Japan and only surviving in, in, in this country. Um, Taizo, I think, did you actually write some code for Yahoo? Yeah, okay. of course. Any of that still running around? No, I don't think so. <laughs> and then uh, after that, I, I got so inspired uh, uh, by the, the the young young guys from Silicon Valley, and then I started my company uh, in 1996. And then, uh, thanks to the fortune, uh, I could uh, I started the gaming company, and then uh, the I could uh, take uh, the company to the the Japanese uh, public stock market. And even today, a couple of billion dollars market cap. What was the company again? Uh, Gung Ho Online Entertainment. Entertainment. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the, the, they developed uh, the game called Puzzles and Dragons. Uh, and then it, uh, it used to be the, uh, the world's number one uh, mobile app uh, in the world. So uh, Tim Cook uh, invited me. Uh, to to the Apple headquarters uh, with a red carpet, and then because uh, uh, together with my brother Masa, the founder of SoftBank, because uh, at the time uh, Masa was selling the iPhone as a hardware as a mobile carrier seller uh, in the world, number one in the world, and then I was the number one app provider at the App Store. So, uh, so, so basically, you're the reason your brother got that deal. <laughs> And then people say that oh, well, oh we are so influenced by the your uh, the some brothers, so so we should welcome you guys. And then then uh, after that, uh, uh, because of the Japanese uh, startup ecosystem is very weak at the time, and then very few angel investors, uh, very few venture capitals. Uh, so uh, I started supporting young uh, people. Uh, creating a startup accelerator like a Y Combinator. And then uh, I moved to the Singapore so that, that we can support the, the young entrepreneurs in the world. And then... Uh, Kaiser, wait, you're yep. skipping over a lot there. So how many different startups and funds have you invested in? Uh, currently, we in directly invested to the 160. Yeah, 150 stuff. plus uh, 70 VC, you know, investments. So, 150 startups and 70 VC funds? Yeah, as an LP. 220 ish investment and uh, only five people running. Yeah. Crazy. That's, <laughs> uh, that's a little crazy. Uh, by the way, I was one of those funds. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. 500 startups fund one. Uh, we had you as one of our LPs. Right. And then uh, maybe uh, uh, later that he will explain it in detail, but uh, we recently acquired the SoftBank Ventures Asia. One is, uh, that is one of the investment arms uh, from year 2000 uh, to invest Asian wide. Uh, so uh, currently they, they're, uh, they, uh, cumulatively, they, they uh, 
driving that $2.2 billion funds. Uh, and then, so we acquired that fund because uh, uh, they have a vision fund, a huge one. Did, did you get a good price on that? Because I think you're buying that from someone you know, right? No comment, no comment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe one of the largest secondary transactions that uh, we haven't been discussing. Unfortunately, so since uh, we, uh, I'm a brother, so that's why uh, I couldn't get any discount. Oh, come so, on, family discount? Even no, premium. Never. Premium need to I hope you got some good favors uh, for whatever you want. No, no, no. Actually, we never. pay the premium. Oh, oh, punishment. I don't know. I think you got to negotiate a little harder. And then, uh, so, uh, so we are now entering into the new chapter for ourselves. Uh, so he yeah. will explain the, okay. the new strategy about it. So, uh, I'm and actually that's a by the way. Tyler's son is yeah. also like right hand man for Taizo and has been with him for almost all of that time, right? Yeah, it is. And before that, I worked for uh, every brother. Uh, more than 12 years on the SoftBank, and I was part of uh, Indian strategy and also U.S. strategy and uh, global strategy at the time. And then that was quite hectic, but fun, but a little bit crazy. And then eight years ago, uh, we started together at Mesuto. So maybe I'm going to share the backdrop of the uh, what we're doing and also what we are going to do Please. with us, right? Okay, so uh, recently we formed the new firm in Singapore, the Edge of, uh, together, Taizuan and myself, and also one more co-founder uh, from Sovereign Venture Asia. So uh, Taizuan named this, uh, of course, uh, company uh, the Edge of because uh, he loves kind of in between chaos and also order, and we can see innovations, and that's coming from the uh, professor from uh, UC area, I guess. And so what we are trying to do is that develop the Pan-Asia startup league and ecosystem, including, of course, Japan and Korea and Southeast Asia countries and also maybe part of uh, India. Um, because uh, Taizo actually and I found that a very good ecosystem, each country is Japan, of course, Korea, and also each uh, Southeast Asia countries. And then we are talking about, hey, Asia is number one market in the future globally, of course. 50% of GDP is coming from Asian countries. However, we found out also a lot of silos, right? It's Japan silo, Korean silo, and also each country silo because the country, each country have a different culture, different sort of a stage of the economic development. So what, that's why we- What about uh, China? Kind of very big silo lately, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have actually uh, the China fund separately, but separately because uh, it's very hard to mingle at this moment, China and also mm. other countries. That's why. But uh, still, we believe that you know the future of China uh, in the future, um, after maybe uh, this a uh, little bit of chaotic, you know, geopolitics. It's still, still big in uh, EV and mobility and AI and yeah, clean, clean tech and driving clean tech. a top side of a technology for sure. So that's why we cannot ignore, but it cannot mingle <laughs> this moment uh, because of the many reasons. And then, uh, so uh, Misuto has been focusing on early stage, very early stage. And then that was a kind of premise, right? So when we started, hey, we have done a lot of uh, usual kind of the mainstream investment and also business like uh, gaming and e-commerce. And I was part of Yahoo Japan and internet service. And then the to begin with, okay, but it's better to try totally opposite side and then Initially, we had no kind of the theme, but uh, only one things, you know, this is coming from Taizo, of course, you know, making our world better, you know, by startup and innovation. That's one sentence. But at that time, you know, I, when I shared, after I left the SoftBank and I shared uh, that story, you know, many friends, and then, oh, you are now getting out of the business or you're going to philosophy or, you know, kind of an impact. At that time, nobody talking about sustainability or impact or good for the future. <laughs> you know, eight years ago. But now people are talking about it, you know, impact, sustainability, because we need uh, some uh, big changes, social changes through innovation and startup, right? So that's a Misuto story. And then on the other hand, SoftBank has been focusing on later stage and and then also uh, mainstream, right? Commerce and logistics and internet service. So all in all, Misuto and SoftBank Venture Asia capability in combination, we can support very early to uh, pre-IPO and also uh, deep tech and sustainability impact to the mainstream. So all in all, uh, this is a 
we think is very complementary kind of merger, almost merger. And, you know, this is a more like a buyout because uh, we both know the uh, all uh, partners and also employees because of the uh, history of our, you know, past. And then, so the, the age of is uh, founding uh, the, the Singapore holding entity, and we will keep it holding entity to develop the uh, ecosystem for Pan-Asia, uh, which means basically harnessing the like-minded people, investors, and those advisors. And also we try to utilize the AI platform to run the fund and also to run the ecosystem because we have been seeing that, you know, uh, or we are saying that, you know, innovation, innovation, but if we get back, you know, investors, um, you know, behind mostly manual and then very old style, I think now time has come. We need to apply data and AI to support, you know, the humans to make a better investment and also better support. So age of is focused that on that. That sounds a little dangerous, like you're putting VCs out of a job. A little bit, but you know, VC <laughs> can find the new pathway. And then but some left behind VC could be, unfortunately, outside of this room. This room, fine. Oh, okay. Yes. Nobody here is going to be out of a job. But uh, actually later today we'll hear uh Nuno, I'm not sure if he's here, but Nuno Gonzalez uh, will also be talking about using AI automation in venture. Um when you guys talk about Pan Asia, can we maybe dig in a little bit there? Is this yeah, yeah. is not just Japan, okay, okay. East Asia? This is Southeast Asia, South Asia, China. What what is part of that? I think it's our thesis that you know the global startup target, of course, but who are interested in Asian expansion or Asian market, including Japan, but also Korea and also other uh, Southeast Asia countries, because. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, market growth will come from Asian countries, of course, but of course, you know, uh, innovation would come from anywhere around the world, in, including, of course, uh, Asia. Uh, but uh, startup itself will be a global. So, in that sense, you know, we're gonna find the uh, best of the best uh, startup. And yeah, uh, the the point is, uh, instead of the focusing on the domestic uh, geographic area, uh, we will focus in on the. Asian startups who like to go global or the uh, global a a Western startups uh, who like to entering into the Asian market. That's it. So we won't invest to the domestic startup mm. in each country mm. at all. And but a very few startups are now going global in Asia. So uh, we will develop. Uh, we will build. The, some the platform and the ecosystem so that they can go global easier uh, or bigger. So that's what I, uh, we will do in uh, through under the age yeah. of. And, and then also a key will be uh, AI automation, data infrastructure, because those are very common across the countries, right? doesn't matter from a Silicon Valley or Asian startup, they need a common resources and common sort of a technology to start a startup. Obviously, that's why um, we, we are not actually a VC. VC is more like a creating a new type of the VC. Money was just part of that. Most important part will be more support of the technology support and also, uh, you know, the uh, other type of the so business development. Software stack, not just capital stack. Yeah. The, so, for example, Dave, you are familiar with uh, the investment in Silicon Valley, right? And the, the the investors are very decisive and very quick to decide and invest quickly. Uh, so within a few weeks, uh, the lead investors will syndicate the investors and uh, uh, to to uh, to invest uh, to, to create a term sheet and uh, uh, and so on a contract uh, so that the startup can go faster and quicker. But in Asia, uh, that kind of things doesn't happen because uh, because there are so many reasons. But uh, the major well, one of the major uh, issue is that uh, they are not familiar with uh, the, that kind of speed. So uh, and also the lack of the knowledge is in the know hows. So uh, uh, that's why. Uh, uh, but I don't think they can catch up. The Asian investors can catch up to the Silicon Valley speed. So uh, 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 instead of catching up, uh, we will build a new uh, AI powered uh, information platform so that the. Uh, Investors can catch up very quickly about the, the latest information and also they syndicate uh, the group of the investors very quickly. So that's what I'm thinking. So it's a kind of the leapfrog. Yeah. 
yeah for okay. the Asian the investors. Sector. Yes. And also, obviously, as uh, uh, Mark also shared, the secondary market is important. And yeah. we, we also think about to create a secondary, but a secondary should be, you know, we don't, we cannot sell the our precious startup, you know, stock to unknown people, right? So that's why community is important. Once we have a community and then series of the investors can line up from uh, early to later, and in between some positive, proactive secondary can be created, Maybe again, twenty percent can be shared, passed to the next guy, and the next guy will fund, right? But I think we need to have a like many people together, otherwise it's not not possible. So that sounds like maybe an internal secondary platform for your entrepreneurs to have some diversification. Is that kind of that's also a yet? plan? Okay. So, so if you are uh, thinking of the creating a new platform for secondary trades, uh, we are more than happy to be connected, <laughs> of course. Or if you guys. I have a nice technology or uh, ideas. Yeah. Uh, we are more than happy to be connected because I don't want to, you know, dominate or the, you know, enclose the community or deals. But I like to open up mm -hmm. to the like-minded people to because uh, our ultimate goal is not to make a big returns, financial returns or something like that, but to create a, a nice uh, instrument uh, to support the great entrepreneurs and grow bigger and faster. So that's the ultimate goal to, you know, to, to, to change the world better. So uh, so that's why um, I, I like to make that that kind this kind of network or community as open as much as possible. Mm. Yeah. So so that's why this is like our vision and drive a positive social change through alpha startups. We named the so such what, kind of what's startup. What's an alpha startup? Uh, Alpha is actually coming from Taizo again. Yeah, Taizo yeah, watched the uh, movie uh, on the train and then, uh, you know, everything everywhere. Wait, 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 all which, movie? <laughs> everything <laughs> everything yeah. everywhere. Oh, everything oh, everywhere. Oh, of course. This is it. <laughs> and, uh, because it's a creator foundation Great starting movie, point. Anyway. And That's then cool. we are looking for a startup who are creating a new kind of a chapter of the industry or vertical and starting point, right? Oh. That's why we, we like to make it our startup. And then we did already such kind of investment through Mesoto because when we started Mesoto as a family office setting, so no um, investment behind. That's why we had a kind of freedom uh, thanks to that setting. That's why we intentionally experiment investment here and there very crazy, totally opposite from market. And then as an experiment, and then seeking 10 years kind of return on investment. <laughs> that was crazy, obviously. You know, that is not great strategy, but uh, no one can do it because uh, most of the cases, uh, LP wouldn't, you know, arose such kind of Zipline is a super cool company. I, I saw that and I should have invested. I missed it. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy because at that time, it's a drone, it's a, you know, everywhere. And then but these none are of like them can. Lighter, like, like rocket, they shoot them and yeah. then they deliver medical and other supplies yeah. in Africa and other places. Yeah, they went to Africa first and then coming back to the US right now. So we are looking for such kind of rare species, uh, but a more we like to find. And then basically cross border basis and out of side of thinking and also cutting edge um technology and impact and also a uh, hyper return on investment so at least we can find a one or two or three i think it's we can find 10 or 20 or more so that's our kind of the belief what, what stage are you guys looking at investing for these uh, from now i think it's as misoto has been investing super early but now we are looking for a late seed and also series a to pre-ipo because uh, we like to create a network with uh, accelerators, incubators, and other investors to create a community, mm -hmm. not just by ourselves. That's why. Okay. Yeah, especially in Asia, uh, we found that uh, uh, seed investment is now uh, everywhere in each it's country. Pretty decent available. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty decent in these days. But uh, uh, Series A or B, especially B stage. Especially B, yeah. Mm. Yeah, very few investors uh, can can uh, take a lead. So this is like ten, twenty million dollar checks and up. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously, uh, the name of fund is uh, Alpha Fund or Alpha Startup Fund and community. So uh, get together, you know, like-minded people, and as I mentioned, the invest investors, advisors, even researchers, and also corporate partners, especially Asia, conglomerate improvement is very important because in order to expand the business without conglomerate, it's not possible. And also family offices. Uh, in Japan, it's not so 
kind of popular, but uh, obviously so you see a lot of family office who got the uh, wealth uh, because of the uh, country development. So, and and then uh, again, you know, the we like to provide a AI platform to run this community and also fund, and together with the like many people to create a new kind of chapter for Asian market. That's that's uh, basically the yeah. And then three co-founders. Uh, can I ask you maybe a question about that family office component? So I think one thing that's always puzzled me is there's a tremendous amount of wealth in Japan. I, I think probably maybe second or third uh, after China, US in terms of billionaires and millionaires, like a lot of wealthy people in Japan, but relatively conservative investment strategy, uh, not even as much in, you know, even just stocks and bonds, but certainly not very much in alternative assets. Do you see that changing? Is that something that you guys are going to try and help open up more? Yeah, um, especially second generation, third generation, we have met many, many uh, family office guys, maybe 30s or 40s. They're boring on you know traditional investment, real estate or palm oil, you know, all those things, right? Of course, father made a huge wealth because of that. But second, third generation looking for something different, you know, uh, set class, and also something uh, good for the future and next generation. So that's why we believe not everyone, but part of that. Um, still, uh, in Japan, especially in Japan, uh, family offices are not uh, very, uh, you know, uh, keen on uh, the investing to the startups by themselves. Uh, right. But I, but I, in my opinion, uh, it's because of the lack of the knowledge and know-hows. So uh, uh, I'm also the one of the family member office. Yeah, I was say, you're talking about yourself. Some family, <laughs> and uh, and so uh, and I started investing to the startups uh, 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 as a family office, and then so uh, next month uh, the Mizuho Bank will uh, will hold a. Uh, uh, the big meeting uh, for the family offices in Japan. Mm -hmm. So especially the new successors, younger generation of the family offices. So uh, I will explain, uh, I will share the, my lessons learned and the, so why I'm, I'm investing to the, to the startups as a family office. And so, and, and so that the, uh, I can stimulate uh, the, them to, to get in, uh, interested in it. Mm -hmm. And so I think that kind of education is very, very important. But, but you also had a huge diversification strategy for your own investments. I, I don't know if most family offices can do 100, 150 startups, certainly not 70 no. VC funds. Um, is there a way that you can help them have yeah. a more diversified portfolio strategy? Or? Yeah, good question. So um, so I, I like some next month, I, I'm, I'm supposed to, to tell to, to them that, that, of course, you cannot do it by yourself. Uh, so you should... You should involve the very good partners, which means uh, the the next generation venture capitals. Maybe you could help them start a fund of funds to invest in emerging. Oh yeah, uh, that could be yeah, that could be the, the great way. What a great idea! Yeah, <laughs> and, and and yeah, we have actually one of the startup which provide a kind of a private syndication to the you know our VC or family office, and we're gonna have a partnership with them. Of course, you know, um, as Tyson mentions, other platform will be welcoming. Because uh, we don't want to own everything. Rather, this is kind of a hub to connect the uh, like many people and also platforms. But actually, I like to emphasize to the family office people uh, that uh, uh, not only for the financial returns, since you are you have a wealthy uh, assets, uh, you should invest. Uh, uh, you should contribute to the society by investing to the the great young entrepreneurs who are changing the world better. So that could be the greatest, uh, one of the good noblest of reach uh, for, for the family office to contribute to the society. I think that kind of story could be appealing to them. So, uh, uh, I, so because they're not the you know professional business person or the investor. So I like to tell that kind of story, uh, inspiring story for them to, to wake up as a great contributor to the society. Mm. Mm. And also part of this community platform, we uh, put the knowledge sharing, kind of education to investors. 
So uh, some of the investors are uh, still new to this kind of, uh, you know, the deep tech and also all those uh, latest innovations. That's why it's also important to share such a knowledge to those people. And then on top of it, uh, this is just uh, interesting, uh, one of the interesting example, but uh, we are developing the uh, the AI, generative AI, uh, who learn my uh, thoughts and uh, <laughs> knowledges. Okay. So yeah. uh, we call it the mini Taizo AI. Yeah. <laughs> we have a prototype. Well, mini, I think, mini, you know, mini. it only makes sense because you have AI in Tai. So <laughs> <laughs> it's already AI. Chai, so yeah. Chai, so. <laughs> yeah. And then uh for example, this there are so many young people who like to access to me and hey Taizo san, listen to my, my presentation, but I cannot uh, deal everything. So uh, please uh <laughs> talk to talk to my me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> but actually quite accurate answer we can find. We we are testing already. Yeah. And then almost maybe 80 percent similar <laughs> response. And then uh give it a nice feedback to, to them. And then actually we are testing and then it's getting better and better day by day. And then I, I was very impressed at all. Oh, you you are doing the very good advice. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying exactly? <laughs> if you my, need to me, give them some harsher advice, you can use me to move in a little bit of AI and just give them a hard time. Well, Tizer is very generous as well. Yeah. I'm pushing always a great. Too, sometimes too nice. <laughs> and then eventually we will open up this technology for free uh, as a kind of the open source to even to the founders. So founders will make a pitch by AI. <laughs> Yep. And the uh, investors will listen. Uh, the, AI, the investor AI will listen and, and so we're they all gonna, dialect. We're all going to be out of jobs very soon. Yeah, entrepreneurs too. Uh, well, yeah, don't need to yeah, rig work like uh, checking emails every day. Try to find a good deal from the emails. That's something wrong, right? Why are we are spending a tons of time. I, I'm ready for that day. Right? Yeah, yeah. And then that eventually the mini AI will notify that hey, you should def definitely meet the real that guy. <laughs> okay. And then hey, nice to meet you and get, have, have a coffee and talk. Yeah. Uh, personal but, but things uh, to become a friends. That's the uh, important role for the real pe person. Yeah. You you sometimes you know they notice that you know one minute oh my god this is the wrong target right but you should continue the conversation. And next 30 minutes or so, and then they are so excited. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, from the beginning, say no, right? But cannot say no. It's something quite wrong way, I guess. <laughs> so start with the AI for all the bad meetings. And then <laughs> exactly. like, good. only the good meetings to make it to That's you. right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. That's a good way with using AI. Mm. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Mm. And then uh, since already uh, necessary discussion will be made by the AI each other, uh, all we have to do as a real person, real investor or real founder is uh, to become a good friends. And then, uh, for example, if I found a very nice co company, for example, hey, Dave, uh, so you, you, we are a good long, uh, long time. We are good friends, right? And you trust me and I trust you. So I found the amazing company. So I would definitely invest. So why don't you? And then I'm maybe in. you will join, right? I'm already in. Right. So, so this kind of thing is most important communication between the like minded investors or founders because of in, we, investors and founders are the, you know, allies. So we should definitely get together and create a new innovation to change the world better. So that's the, that's the, the you know, goal. Mm. So we should ally, right, together. So, so mean, become a, the, you know, comrades is get, getting not to know each other personally. So that's the most important way, yeah. thing. Yeah. So reasonable discussions that, hey, uh, so what is the, you know, why year on year growth or, or what's the number of the uh, lifetime value or the conversion rate? So that kind of things will be made by the AI. It's good enough. Yeah. You don't have to ask that kind of silly, silly questions by ourselves. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. And actually, uh, we are uh, underneath maybe a sneak peek is that, you know, the AI who actually shape the pitch deck in between founders con conversation. So in that sense, we don't need to see, oh my God, pitch deck, right? Rather, they already done sort of a several session in between. And then from the beginning, nice sort of pitch deck will come up, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong, right? 
This sounds really amazing. Where do I where do I sign up for this? <laughs> very soon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, very soon. We will open up to everybody. And uh, so people coming here today, you you guys have, have a very good eyes because uh, Japan is a sleeping beauty. And uh, very few people are interested in, in investing to the Japanese startup so far. But uh, uh, finally, in my gut feeling, because I was born and raised in, uh, keep observing the Japanese ecosystem for more than three, 30 years. And then finally, finally, the, the Japan is waking up again. Uh, so uh, so you, you guys are the good, uh, so, so Japanese old establishments are loggers, but uh, uh, you <laughs> guys could be the, the leader uh, or the first mover to change the Japan uh, uh, newly. So uh, I think we, we should definitely get, so since you have a good eyes, you have a good sense uh, to identify the new new symptoms. So uh, I, I'd like to get connected to all of you guys uh, so that we can create a, a, the new chapter of the Japan and Asia. Well, that's great. I think uh, we'd love to have you come on one of our next 42 Geeks trips. I, I oh, yeah. Think uh, actually, I believe Chuck's going to make an announcement uh, where our next trip is going to be end of February, early March to uh, Indonesia. Uh, okay. And so would yeah, be great if you want to join us. Yeah, sounds great. We can go find some startups in Asia. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take a break for lunch uh, of about 45 minutes, and we'll get started again back at 1 o'clock.